campers are now engaged in song. The camp is usually held six months to a year after a disaster. The camp is here to lend a helping hand. The campers' hands are usually very busy. Eight-year-old Jalen Call is decorating her portfolio carrier. Her family lost their home due to the tornado. This is the way it looked after the twister wreaked havoc. She was a scared little girl. I was concerned that I would have to stay in a hotel for a very long time, and I did have to. And I thought that we wouldn't be able to live in our house again. There are other stories here, like 11-year-old Xander Lowry's. He wasn't worried about his family. He was worried about his friend's home because he couldn't contact them when the tornado was headed to their home. It kind of... It made me feel sad because I didn't know if they were okay. I hadn't talked to them, and um, I couldn't talk to them. But he can talk to the counselors here. I want all kids to be happy. I want them to know that they are loved um, and cared for by the people in their community, um, that there are people around to help, there are people to talk to if they need to. Um, I want them to know that that support is there for them. What about you, Pedro? Do you have a safe place? Mine is a dark, cozy barn with lots of fresh hay. This puppet show is one of the entertainment activities today. Almost every minute of the day is chock full of action. Is there any evidence that this camp works? There have been studies done about its effectiveness. And they show significant improvements in less clingy behavior, children sleeping through the night, children not being so afraid of the weather. When they are singing and moving around, it seems their lives are getting back to normal. Remember Jalen? This is her house all fixed up. If only it was that easy to fix the children. In Kokomo, Derek Thomas, RTV6.